-hmm. Another thing I wanted to talk about before we talk about anything else is I wanted to talk about open carry laws. Yes. This is going to be carry white. You would have you would have to remove all the rocks. You know, but then you can open Carrie White's grave. Yeah, yeah. And it's um, this, is, this is going to be difficult for me to talk about, but we're going to talk about this. Uh, so recently at my work, some uh, Oklahoma nut job decided to come in with like a freaking rifle around his shoulder. A rifle? Oh, shit. Yeah, like like a rifle or a shotgun or something like an AK-47. I don't know. Whatever. He he came he came in open carrying something, which which I understand because if there's one thing that I hate, it's when you go into a bookstore and suddenly uh, James Patterson's new novel starts trying to rape and murder you. Yeah. You really need to defend yourself in that, you know. You need to defend yourself from the violence that happens in our teen romance section. Mm -hmm. Well, also, from what I understand, uh, deer like to graze in the in the history section. Yes, particularly Egyptology. Yeah, yeah. So, number one, I I don't agree with guns. I, 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 I have a hard time with guns. I had one shoved into my temple at one point in time yeah. during a robbery. And so I don't like guns. I don't think people should have guns. I'm against open carry. So that's why this discussion is going to be difficult for me because I'm going to have to, because number one, you, if you are open carrying like this, then what that says to me is you have a small penis and mm-hmm. you are trying to overcompensate. That's what that tells me. Yeah. Um, that you're you're a conservative snowflake, and you have to be the center of attention. <laughs> That's what that says to me when you're open carrying. So I don't like this guy. I don't like this son of a bitch that came into my bookstore and started open carrying. So that's why this is going to be a difficult conversation for me to have, because I am going to have to come to his fucking defense. Yes. Uh huh. That's why this is a difficult conversation for me to have. Although I will say if I could fillet myself for a second, I'm proud of how much I have grown. Yes. <laughs> Because this is not a conversation that I think if I had this conversation, like if someone was open carrying like five years ago or 10 years ago, uh, I would be happy. It would sound very different. It would not say this conversation would not sound how it is sounding now. Nevertheless, would they be more like screaming? Is, yeah. 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 Nevertheless, this guy is open. Well, 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 first, like you cued me in that this had happened. Yeah. And but but all I got was he had a gun, which I thought gun, you know, so I, I thought like a pistol and I was like yeah. gun, Oklahoma. That's probably not too terribly rare occurrence in Oklahoma, but walking no, into a so- fucking rifle. What the fuck? No, he, he, he was open carrying the way that people open carry in groups when they're trying to send a message. Like, no, he yeah. had a big ass fucking assault rifle around his shoulder. Yeah. He was really, he was really packing. And uh, why? First off, why should we be okay with that? Why first should off, we? I, yeah, yeah. You are asking way too much trust from me, and yeah. you're a fucking stranger. I am supposed to trust that you are not going to mow down everybody in your path. Well, especially yeah. since now they say, um, you know, I have food in my mouth, but <clears throat> now mentally ill can get guns. Yeah. So what does this mean? This does not mean you're a safe, sane person carrying yeah. around this huge rifle. Yeah. No, it yeah. doesn't. My God. Yeah. I was telling Benny earlier, I am I'm so freaking mad right now. I'm numb. I'm just numb. I, I can't even care anymore. I'm so fucking mad about so yeah. many things 
Yeah, is is there a way to turn off the push notifications from the Huffington Post app? Because it's giving me heart attacks. Yeah. If there's one thing that scares me is when I get a notification from the Huffington Post saying, <laughs> breaking news, and I'm like, oh shit, what happened now? You know? Everything, everything just now has the breaking news thing. I go wandering around looking for, for news clips to find out what's going on. You know? Um, and it's all breaking news, and I'm like, okay, this isn't that breaking. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but every time I get that like a news notification, I'm like, oh god, okay, who's dead? Where was the shooting? What did Trump do now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's giving me a goddamn giving me a freaking heart attack. Anyway, um, uh, so this guy's open carrying. This is not the first time that I have dealt with open carrying. I re it was about a year and a half ago. When I was at Walmart and there was a dude with a shotgun. Yeah. And at first I freaked the hell out because here's just some strange guy in Walmart with a shotgun. But then I'm like, okay, hold on a second. You're in Oklahoma. Open carry is just the law of the land. There's nothing anyone can do to stop this person. Let's just calm down. And, and so I've, I've seen open carry, I think, two or three times before this guy came into my store. Yeah. With a shotgun. And where the story gets really crazy is that a woman with her two kids saw someone open carrying in the bookstore and then came to us mm -hmm. and complained because we didn't stop it. Yeah. And she was really huffy about it. She said, there was a man and I saw him and he was in the cafe and he is carrying around a shotgun, open carrying a weapon. And why aren't you people stopping it? Mm -hmm. And it's like, OK, um, as much as I'm against open carry, it's law. Uh -huh. It's just law here in Oklahoma. So so like we can't stop him from doing this if we do stop him from doing this society and pop culture has taught me that this guy is gonna get really pissed off go home go on his freaking bulletin boards his chat boards online and within 24 hours there will be 25 more of him yes that's how it works i mean that, that's what i'm thinking man what the fuck yeah. are you gonna say i would be i would be terrified to say anything to him because I think they're all just ready to snap. Yeah, yeah. Sir, but, you can't be in here with you can't be in here with this. Of course, he's going to start arguing his first amendment, his second amendment rights with you. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, and then he might start getting hostile, and he's got a fucking automatic weapon. Yeah. So, so. So then the woman says, well, you know, I bet you didn't even bother to check his license to see if he was licensed to carry that. And it's like, wait a second. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere in the world are minimum wage paid booksellers yes. allowed to check gun licenses. <laughs> You know, like they do not pay us enough to be checking random uh, six foot four inch camouflage wearing rednecks as gun licenses. I don't know who you think we are, <laughs> but that is even a law, too. They don't even need to have like Oklahoma has the most lax gun laws. You don't need a license. You don't need anything you can just like i can buy a shotgun and carry it around with me everywhere and no one is legally allowed to stop me that's just the freaking law i okay, don't like but dude they would stop you oh yeah absolutely i they would, would be killed fucking stop that's, you that's the thing all these open carry people are almost all white because they are allowed to do that yes they are absolutely allowed to do that but 
uh, this woman got pissed and she 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 yelled at the bookseller and demanded to speak to the manager. And the manager said the same thing. Well, it's like, we're sorry that you feel uncomfortable, but unfortunately, it's law here in Oklahoma. Open carry is law. And we legally cannot stop anyone from open carrying anywhere. It's not it's it's not just us. That's every store that you will go to in Oklahoma. That's just the law. Mm -hmm. it, I'm sorry that you're upset, but that's not our fault. That's the fault of the laws of the state that you live in. <laughs> and she's like, well, I can't. Well, you could have stopped him, but you did not. And I can't believe that you would that you would care so little about your customers that you would not stop them. So I just want you to know that you lost a longtime customer. But that's not our fault. It's the fault of the government and the laws. Why are you angry with us about that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's you probably like, you probably could have gotten away with well then you go tell them. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. go stop them. Um, uh, it, uh, you I'm, could stop I'm, him too. I mean, check his license while you're at it. <laughs> it. It's upsetting because I'm upset at this guy for open carrying in a bookstore. Like no one goes into a bookstore. The bookstore is the safest goddamn place you can go to because no yeah. one's there. Like, like there's no need for anyone to ever open carry in a goddamn bookstore. Yeah. Number one. So I'm angry at the guy for open carrying. Number two, I'm twice as angry at the woman who is upset at us because some guy open carried. And number three, I'm upset at myself for coming to the defense of the guy who is open carrying. Yes. Very upset about this. I, I, Very I can, upset. I, I could say, uh, you know, I could definitely see your point, but it's not like by saying that you're condoning it. It's just the fucking law. Yeah. That's just, that's just the law. That's just what it is. Any, any, anyway, I'm really upset about the whole thing. I'm I mean, and this upset. is, and this is the shit I'm hearing. I'm hearing lately, uh, about Philandro Castile. You're like, well, well, he shouldn't have had a gun. He had a motherfucking permit. It was yeah. a legal weapon. Yeah. You know what yeah. the fuck, and, man? I can't, you know, I can't believe the shit I am hearing out of people over this one. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, no matter what, no matter what, does not make a difference. You're going to blame the black man. You're just going to blame the black man. I mean, I mean, the, the, there's no argument here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's and it's really like we can have we can have an instance, okay? Where not even a cop just a white guy stumbles onto a Hollywood set. So like we have perfect film and coverage from every angle. Okay. Yeah. And he can randomly look at somebody and say, Hey, nigger. Bang. And people will be saying, well, did you see him? He was walking kind of funny. I think he might've been drunk. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Any any You know cop, you know how they drink. Any cop can get away with shooting anyone as long as they felt threatened. And it's messed up because literally a police officer can shoot and kill a 12-year-old minority and get away with it as long as the cop said, "But I felt threatened." Oh, yes. well, we're going to you killed this person, but you're innocent because you felt scared. Mm -hmm. Like that's so messed oh, up. Yeah. And that one shot the fucking kid dead within 12 seconds of arriving on the scene. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's like, it's like that old, that old episode of South park. They're coming right at us. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing. I feared for my life. 
from then you are way too pussy to be a cop. You know? Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm texting Natasha. Okay. Uh, 